Riley, I wish you all the best of luck with uh, you going from almost 300k to almost 100k in a couple of days. Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy David back with another, how do I say this? Uh, do I say banger or do I just say video? You know what I'm saying? Um, so how y'all been, man? So today, like I said in my previous video, if you watched that previous video, I appreciate you being a supporter. Make sure you uh, like and subscribe on this video if you're new to the channel. And if you saw my recent video, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I did state that I was going to react to, what's her name? Bro, I can't think of her name, bro. Oh, I'm on her channel. Never mind. Let me scroll down. Riley Simpson. That's her name. <laughs> what a joke. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and react to Riley's video. Now, I'm not really going to keep this intro nice and long. I'm going to just go ahead and get into the video for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Now, let me go ahead and set up my screen recording. Now, before I get started, I do want to go ahead and say thank you for tuning in. And I hope you guys enjoy the video because I'm turning it into Flight Reacts 2.0. Since we on quarantine, it's going to be straight reactions right now, baby. I'm sorry. If you don't like reactions, hey. Hey. If you don't like my reactions, go tune in to my boy's Flight channel. Um, this is, Flight doesn't even know I'm saying this, but shout out to my boy Flight. He just had a million on the gram. He got over a million on the tube on multiple channels. Flight doing his thing, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Now, without further ado, play. A pimp can't be pimped. I know what pimping looks like. A pimp can't be pimped. Period. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Actually, what I do want to talk about real quick is I was randomly on YouTube, and this dude's channel was suggested to me, right? And I guess he's Riley's ex-editor or something, and Riley has his intro. Like, she... Literally, at, apparently, I didn't watch the video all the way through. I just watched like a little part because I know people be on bull when they be doing videos, and they be talking out. They, you know, what I'm saying. Um, apparently, he sent Riley the template for her intro, and she didn't even change her intro. Like, it's not that hard to make an intro. I can make an intro and outro in like 30 minutes, banner and everything. Shout out to Chino for showing me the ways, though. You know, what I'm saying. Um, I guess I, I guess it's like. Master Chino, if we're referring to Star Wars, and I'm Pat, I'm Padawa David, Padawan, Padawan David. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, let's go ahead and watch Riley Simpson's video. I know we're all here to talk about. I really wanted to avoid this question. I clearly was trying to ignore it for a number of reasons. Um, it was my business to share, but DDG posted the video, so to DDG. Really, what you talking about, Daryl? <laughs> really, what you talking about? Now, I only know of Riley because of Daryl and Squad. I don't, I really, to this day, still don't know who either of these goofballs are in this video. Whenever I watch Daryl's video, I don't know. I asked somebody, I didn't even read my comments on my video yet. I just posted it yesterday, and then I didn't even read the comments, bruh. Uh, I'm being honest with y'all. I've been very busy. I'm working on opening up a new business. I'm working from home. I'm doing a lot of things for myself, enjoying my life. I promise, if you DM me on Instagram or Twitter, the links are down in the description down below. Let me know who these two, I think she, Daryl said that he is, I don't know, I don't care. Um, I just felt like I really needed, okay, I'll really explain what happened. You know, I felt like I need to come on here and share my part of the story. There's always two parts of the story, guys. So, first of all, I want to thank everybody who has came to me. Did y'all see that terrible cut? They was, like, all laughing and stuff. They probably started talking shit, and then Riley was like, oh, let me cut that out. Ian became a real, true Reaver Squad fan. You guys mean the world to me, and I couldn't be anywhere without the fans, you know? And I know that the... Reaver Squad, DDD Squad. Hmm, I wonder where she got that idea from. Hmm. Doesn't take a genius to figure it out, Riley. 
You were just like, oh, Daryl has DDG squad. I'm gonna name my squad Rebe squad. Oh my god. The majority of them did come from DDG, and that's how this all got started. But there is something that you guys don't understand, which there was a contract. This was a deal. Brody's cuts are terrible, Riley. Like you can, you know how you can line up the audio way better to where people don't notice the cuts. It's so easy. It's called zoom in on final cut. Cut to that exact moment to where you think you got the same face. Bam! You, you just leave an audio. It's sloppy work. Maybe you need your editor back. Shit. There's no way for me to be using him because he was getting paid for anything Cap. I was doing. We were in a very much signed off deal contract that stated what he was going to do, what I was going to do, what we were going to get from it, you know? So, <clears throat> I was never using DDG. <laughs> I only ever appreciated the kid. But what I really wanted to get into today, guys, was the truth. There's no wait, 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 hold on. I really appreciated the kid. Riley, you do realize you have two kids sitting next to you. Daryl is a like a grown ass man, completely successful, and you just should, all right, all right. You go ahead, go ahead, refer to my kid. Go ahead. A lot of fuzzy things going on with my channel, with me, with how you guys feel about me, and a lot of things that just haven't made sense. For starters, with the way we met, you know, like, I didn't, like, say the right way where we met because he didn't feel like it was going to be appropriate. Because the same way he met Seven, he met me. I met him in the club. Here's a video of me and him in the club. This was the day of my birthday. I met him through a friend. He liked me at that moment. I didn't show interest, I rejected him multiple times, and then he brought on a contract type deal with this business opportunity that he had this company called Zoom B and T and I would be the first. What makes you you? Ask me Truly if you get in this ad, Riley. You're getting your you get in your five seconds. That's it. Bye. So it took me about a week to like agree to the deal. It's <clears throat> the first you and, spot you was hitting on you. Yeah. I was just like, you know, a lot of people in these types of clubs like there's a lot of people, I'm sure if you guys have ever been to like these types of clubs in Hollywood, there's- Angle and Cap, um, that is, that's a very good, valid point. If y'all live in Hollywood or LA area, women, ladies, be safe, because there are a lot of predators, a lot of uh, people that give you false promises, just take you home in the night, they give you false promises, be like, I'll call you in the morning about it. They, uh, y'all do whatever, bam, bam, boom. Nothing ever happens, you just add another body to your list. So just be safe out there. Watch your drinks, that's all I gotta say. There's a lot of people who always want to give you opportunity, a lot of men, a lot of men with a lot of money. They want to give you an opportunity. I'm gonna make you a star, girl. Yeah. You a star. Always. It's creepy. And it's like, I was like, no, whatever. But he was a young kid, I didn't really know much about him. So I was like, sure, I'll listen to his deal if he comes. But I told him I wanted to see a contract, you know, this was official. I wanted to see exactly what you're gonna bring to the table, what I can bring to the table. And in that contract, I would have to, there was two roles for both of us. It was he was going to do a certain number of videos with me, promote my videos on his Instagram or YouTube, make it so I can reach followings and like branch up pretty much. And for that, he would get a percentage of the money of whatever I made, rightfully so. Both were in an agreement. I would be doing all the work though. He would show me how to do it, but I would have to do everything. And I was like, of course, okay? I took the wings into my hand, signed the papers, everything was great. He was sending me video ideas. He was giving me like, you know, ideas. He was doing videos for me, bought my camera, you know, I was in great. Like everything was shooting up, subscribers went crazy, whatever. You guys know the, the deal. And that was when I started to think it was really <coughs> serious. I thought when you first told me about it, that it was obviously just something you trying to hit on you at the club. Yeah. But when you So at this point, I don't know why you're putting your two cents because you already said this. People already heard you say this. Nobody wants, so if y'all watch YouTube, nobody ever wants to hear somebody restate what they've already said in a video. It just sounds stupid. You look stupid. You sound stupid. All right. He bought you a camera <clears throat> when he's actually started teaching you stuff and it seemed like maybe this guy is about business. Maybe she just got really lucky at this club. And that was when the video idea came. Yeah. That's when, and that's so, when DDG suggested to Riley that I talk shit about it. Your friends, fake. Your relationships, fake. You put them all online for the world to see. And you're teaching Riley to do the same. That no, wasn't. No. Hey, Riley. I ain't gonna count I'm talking over this ad for the whole five seconds. Bye. My idea, even though I didn't have, like, an idea of how I felt about him yet. 
it wasn't my idea to go talking shit about him on camera. Riley filmed that because, you know, that was what he asked her to do. He said, what we'll do is <clears throat> your brother will talk shit about me, and then we'll resolve it over some some boxing match or, or, or fight of some sort. Yep. He drew that on for like three months after I talked shit about him. And recommend this isn't the first video that, like, he's ever done about somebody not liking him or about him not liking somebody else. This is something that he does to cause, like, a reality TV show type of thing that you guys seem to enjoy. But for us, it didn't work simply because we did that video and then it took us months for us to do a retaliation video when they never even met until, like, two months in of everything going on. Exactly. It was just like And videos. when I tell you guys, like I said, a lot of the stuff you see on YouTube, although, especially with DDG, he designs it to be like a reality TV show. But when I met this kid, he, he was shy, he was quiet, we, we, and I, you know, I was nice. We didn't have any animosity towards each other. I didn't even know him yet. He just seemed like a shy, normal kid. And then, you know, I find out through Riley that he's not coming through with his side of the bargain. You know, he wanted to do this part one and part two type video where I talk shit and then we meet up face to face and it's like the drama for you guys. For reality TV, it wasn't real, but that was the idea. And when you didn't do it for like two months, it started to frustrate Riley. And that's when... That's when like things started to go off the rails. And then like, we became... I mean, all I gotta say is Riley, if he didn't do it for two months, move on. Like, how how... How is a video, one video idea, imagine, imagine being a creator on the YouTube platform and you were handed a video idea from one of the biggest YouTubers in the world, right? You're handed an idea and then he doesn't come through with his part. So what? He, you just stated he was texting me video ideas all the time. Then guess what, Riley? You dropped the series that you tried to start and then start another one. Who cares? You don't need Daryl to do videos. Nobody needs anybody else to do a video. I'm sitting here doing a video of a reaction to you, right? Prime example. This is no way, like, I, I mess with Flight Heavy, like, one of my boys. Flight has never needed anybody in his career. Look at him. Are you talking about, well, Daryl didn't hold up his part of the bargain, so it frustrated me for two months straight? Who cares? Shut, bro, all right. We're close, and the closer we got, the more information we shared with each other. And I told him about a person that I liked, which was I described him in my videos a light skinned guy with tattoos, like That's curly small. to dread hair. Like, you know, like he just didn't really think, I don't think he really thought that I was actually going to date him. He didn't think you were actually going to date him, Riley, because if y'all watched my prior video, if y'all watched Daryl's video, hey, Riley, I heard you was acting single in these streets. You know what I was saying? I heard you was acting hella single in LA, bro. And you, you got your mans sitting right next to you. Does he know how single you were acting while you were messing with him? Like, he took a trip. He took a trip to see you, took a trip to see him, and yet you were still out here acting single. Women these days, right? Oh, I shouldn't even say women. I feel like women wouldn't act that way. I feel like girls these days would act that way. Or that it was that serious until I started taking vacations with him and because he lived in Chicago so I would go over there <clears throat> and yeah I went on one and like I wasn't talking to him during that time because I didn't need to I created all these other videos before I left bah. I was on vacation at this point and he knew you were going and he knew I was going so then after that I came back and it was just like a problem didn't want to shoot videos with me anymore. He just like made it very clear that he was taking his space, so I worked even harder. All right. I got a serious question. If y'all can answer this, please let me know. I know I keep pausing the video. I really don't care. I don't really care what I'm listening to right now. Why is he just sitting there? Who, the light-skinned dude that Riley is referring to, obviously is her boyfriend. Why are you just, what is he even in the video for? Everybody knows who he is on your channel, apparently, Riley. So why is he sitting in the video? This is, bro, all right. You make no sense. This is your channel. Do your thing. He's irrelevant. I'm just letting y'all know now. I don't care what he has to say this entire video. I don't care what he has to say, her brother, this entire video. This is Riley's channel. This is Riley's whatever T video. So how are they relevant? They're not. Exactly. Let's go. I kept pushing him for more videos and I said that's fine. He was building his empire with Zooted, so I just kept making more and more videos, working, working, working. 
but he wasn't promoting any of my videos either. So he wasn't holding up that part of our partnership. He didn't work for me, no, and I didn't work for him either. It was, you do one, I do one, we get this, you know? And I understand that he was busy and that he has a lot of things going on, trust me, I know. But it's still the fact that I was another part of his business that needed to be taken care of the same way of any other business that was going on. If there wasn't going to be, there should have just been some type of compromise. Mm -hmm. And you guys so, should have at least had to talk about it. All I did was why I wanted to talk about it. Went to his house, talked to him about it, tried to have a conversation with him. I simply said, you know, I've been doing 22 to 24 videos a month. They're 30 days in the month, you know, these past few months. And you haven't promoted any, any of them. You haven't really done any videos with me. You make it nearly impossible for me to meet up with you. And it's preventing me from making videos. <clears throat> so then he was just like angry about it, told me he didn't want to do videos with me anymore, but said that he didn't want me to be a part of Zooted, and this was really not short, not long after I also had a boyfriend. And I started posting him on my Instagram, and then things just changed. And I wasn't even asking for him to be in. I can tell y'all right now, Daryl is not the jealous type. If Daryl wanted you, Riley, I'm sure you offered yourself to him plenty of times. Like, that's the whole thing with uh, a lot of LA girls. They see clout, they see money, it's instant. You know what I'm saying? It's just a thing. It's, it's just, it's literally just a thing in California, bro. So, if Riley, let me, let me rephrase that. If Daryl wanted you, Riley, he could have had you. So clearly he didn't want you. So clearly he wouldn't care if you had a boyfriend. And then referring back to Daryl's actual video from the video that I reacted to before this one. He told you to record with your boyfriend. He told you to make a series. He told you to act like a couples channel because that gets views. That's whenever the whole reality TV comes back into play, Riley. People want to see drama. People want to see boyfriend, girlfriend, lovey-dovey type stuff. He gave you the keys. You didn't listen. You assumed he's jealous. All right. <laughs> I wasn't even asking him to be in any videos of this. What? Please. Hey, can we get, like, if, if there's a service called YouTube Cops, YouTube, like, security, go remove this man. Like, go to her house and remove him from the videos. He's irrelevant. At this point, I was just doing the work, and I just wanted him to simply post something on his hey, Instagram. Riley. And that, I Yo, that was the Yo, ad. Yo, ad getting skipped, coach. Guess what? You didn't get your cheese if I skip your ads. HR block is here. Bye. I've been doing YouTube longer than you, baby girl. It wasn't like she was asking for anything that was unreasonable. It wasn't like she was using I wasn't asking him to do anything that he wasn't supposed to do. Just Other the things that we were in the contract. And the only so, thing that changed was Riley's relationship status. And you guys know it wasn't shortly after, you know? Like, you can look at the timeline. You guys have seen when I announced about him and when DDG stopped promoting me. And it was all around the same time. I mean, I might be looking at this wrong, but, and I might have taken the business opportunity wrong too. But in my eyes, we were all working together. We built a friendship, and that working together building a friendship was what it was to me but i don't know after i got into a relationship it just wasn't like that so all i have to say is i'm sorry to anybody i hurt but i know just like how you guys know you guys see it all the time a lot of men with money and a lot of men who you know just feel like they've never been told no before like have a power over other people and i wasn't gonna just sit there and take it and let him have Part of my money. I mean, imagine if See, this is where I draw the line, Riley. You're basically calling Daryl, like, okay, cool, he's got money, he's got power, and because you quote unquote told him no and you got into a relationship, this is your whole argument. This is this is what I'm watching this video for, Riley. That's what you're telling me. You shot this whole video because you are assuming Daryl is jealous. I'm gonna be honest with you, Riley. You sound stupid. Like you sound let me let me emphasize on the word stupid. You sound extremely stupid right now, alright? Now, knowing Daryl for years, like I know I've known Daryl more than anybody in squad besides his family, right? Daryl is not the jealous type. 
Daryl looked at you and this opportunity is a sole business opportunity. If you want to throw that in his face and disrespect him like that and just assume he was jealous, that's your stupidity. That's your stupid mindset right there. That is you not being open-minded to actually take a step back. Look at the perspective of this man gave you the biggest opportunity you will ever get in your lifetime. And you assumed he was jealous. Okay, but that's what you took away from that whole thing. Daryl was jealous. Grow up. And you worked for somebody, you worked all these hours, and you were supposed to get a certain amount, and they wanted to take it, take it away from you just because they were higher up. Yeah, if someone has a problem with you, it doesn't mean, like, you're a worker. Like, come on. In any business... <clears throat> what did he just say? Hold up. You work for, come on. For one, bro, maybe you need to go back to high school or wherever you came from uh, because you need to learn how to speak and use proper sentences like talk, you know, start a sentence, finish a sentence, period. Poo, head ass. That, that's, that's what, I guarantee you this is the type of dude that says period poo to his girlfriend every time he says some shit off camera. In any business you're gonna have, in any, if you guys have ever worked a job, I'm sure there was times where you weren't happy and you had to talk to your boss about it or something happened, a confrontation with your employee and you wanted to talk to your boss about it. Well, imagine if you went to your boss about it and all you did was explain a problem that he could have easily said, I don't want to deal with it, you know, fix it on your own and send you back into work and instead just fired you. But that's, <laughs> even that's different. This is a contract. And hey. If I'm being honest with you, bruh, California is an at-will state whether you have a contract or not. As soon as you get hired in Cali and you sign your ex, you sign your name on that dotted line to any employment facility, that's a contract, right? Hey, guess what? California is an at-will state. They can fight you whenever they want, no matter what, no circumstances needed. Shut up, bruh. Both y'all sound stupid. And it literally says in the contract that he made that he has to do specific things, and he wasn't doing it. Yeah. And if you guys really want to compare it to something, I hate to say it, but in Hollywood, there, this happens all the time. There's these guys who think that because they're rich and powerful, and no disrespect to these people, a lot of these people we all look up to. We don't know this. It's a secret. You know? And they pay these employees, they hire these employees, and a lot of the times when they're male, they think that they can just kind of be with whoever, whatever women they want because they all idolize them. And the ones that don't, oftentimes get fired when they return down a request or when they don't go on vacation with them or 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 come into work alone with them or whatever it is it's some really real stuff that happens and you know riley's careful we, we grew up in la i grew up in the industry so we knew better and so did she so she knew better and it was like that's what this whole thing seemed like and it, and when he really decided to get upset and let her go it really seemed like that was because he couldn't have her and maybe I'm out of place for saying that. I know a lot of you are gonna disagree with me, but you're not in a position. You don't know. You don't. You don't know how. You have no idea. But see, I, whoever you are, bro, I don't know your name. I don't really care to know your name. If I'm being honest, uh, I am. I am in the position to say. I am. Out of everybody that's actually on these videos, I'm in the position to say. Daryl didn't want you, Riley. So sorry. You might have wanted him, but guess what? He's had better. He can do better. Now, by all means, that's no disrespect to Riley. Now, given I'm probably going to say some disrespectful things in this video, Riley is, uh, how I would say, uh, a gorgeous woman, girl, whatever. She's not my type. Um, I'm just saying. She's, uh, she's definitely attractive. But you have no space, air, or opportunity to voice that opinion because you don't know Daryl. You've never actually, you probably hung out, like I guarantee you the way he's talking right now, he probably he probably met Daryl like one time. Never actually kicked it, never actually had a conversation. Nothing like that. You have no right to speak on Daryl. So please shut up, just shut up, just shut up. Don't even try to do another video about this, bro. If Riley, if you do another video about this, do not put him, do not put thing one or thing two because they're both irrelevant, okay? 
at the end of the day, I just wanted to leave that message with you guys. I understand that a lot of you guys aren't going to like me for this video, but recommend I was trying to ignore it in the first place. Not because I had anything to hide, because I have all the proof and the receipts that shows everything, what I'm trying to say and what is my side of things to get you guys to understand. So keep following, keep watching, and we'll see you guys within a few days with great videos. And, you know, for everybody who doesn't want to be a part of the Ruby Squad, and, you know, I totally respect that. What's going on, guys? Today I'm here with my girl, T. Hey, y'all. And we're going to spill some tea. So, um, about Zooted. Did you get a contract? Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, we got a contract. Everything was great. From the jump, he was straight business. We did everything, like, created content every single day. It was great. And then all of a sudden... Now, I just want to know, you had a 10 minute video already, Riley. If you're a YouTuber, if you're a smart YouTuber, I'll put it like this. If you hit your 10 minute mark, you automatically get unlimited ads. You can put ad breaks every 30 seconds, every 10 seconds if you want to. If you were smart about this, Riley, if you really wanted to eat off this video, off this whatever you're doing right now, you have almost a 20 minute video, Riley, right? Break it up next time, sweetheart. Be smart about your money. Cause from what I heard, you went from making 22,000 to 600. That's a drop, bruh. That's a drop, that's a hell of a drop. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Like we started to get, to, to, to get more personal, like talking about relationships type. He talked about his, I talked about mine. It was very clear that I had somebody this whole time. And then when that somebody, as in my boyfriend Trey, became official, it just, everything like fell through the cracks. When did all this happen? This happened, like when did you stop um, working with him? It was March 7th. March 7th? Yeah. Yeah, so just a couple of days after me and him stopped working. Oh, Just what? two days after me and him stopped working together. So that might have probably put a little a dent in it. Yeah. So you guys did have a partnership. Mm -hmm. It was a partnership and you guys had a deal where, what did he say? Did he say, I'm going to put you on these platforms and I want a percentage of the, of the money that you make? Pretty or much. Like, uh -huh. Yeah, it was like. So he wanted to have a meeting. It took me time to set up this meeting and I told him that I want the meeting to come with papers so that way I can like really read through the contract. No, it was official. So you knew like, what the meeting was about yes. when you went to the meeting? Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. And then he brought papers uh -huh. and went to the meeting. I read through the contract and everything basically said this is a partnership and his part of the deal was he's going to promote my videos, he's going to make sure I, I get on these platforms and basically push me to grow pretty mm -hmm. much mm -hmm. he's gonna do videos with me all of that type of stuff in order to make my channel grow mm -hmm. and then he was doing that for a while he was helping me with videos he was helping me with ideas yeah and then all of a sudden it was like i can't get in contact with you i can't make a video with you right we're going throughout the months there's no video with you he would make me wait an hour outside of his building to Aww. like for me like it's different because like I didn't, I, I had already built my platform on my yeah. own and stuff so like that, so, so it's like, realistically, the people that came from DVG to me, it's, it's, a, it's only a fragment of yeah. my, of my following, so it, for me, for me, I don't, I really don't give a fuck. Yeah. If you're not holding up your end of the bargain or I'm not happy and you're not happy, then we don't got to do this. It's like a relationship, you yeah. know what I mean? It, for me, it's not a big deal, yeah. but I could, but, but I wanted to meet with you today because I, because it's like at the end of the day, like we're in a business, we're in the industry, like you, you wanted to be on YouTube, you took the route where you like let someone kind of build your entire, you know, channel around them mm -hmm. and their following. So it's kind of like, at this point, it's like, really, honestly, you just make a fuck, like, a video, like, fuck DVG's followers, like, like it's or start a new channel, like, because at the end of the day, like, they don't know the situation, what happened between you and him, and, like, you're giving the explanation, but at the end of the day, they're gonna be, they're gonna side with him because those are his followers, those yeah. are his, those are his fans, you know, so it's just, like, they take it, like, as a learning lesson, like, do you know what I mean? Like, fuck it. Like, build your own shit. Like, I really don't know what T is talking about. I mean, I don't know if she's trying to make a good point. I don't know if she's leading up to a point 
or if she's just rambling on and on and on about the same thing. But okay, okay. I, I don't know, bro. I have like no you idea. Not support you. For me, I don't even like when people mention my name. If I'm not there to defend myself, so I can understand how you would be upset. Yeah. Cause I, cause I don't even like when people say my name. Don't say my name if I'm not there to defend myself. Mm -hmm. I don't fuck with that. Yeah. That, that. Those are fighting words to me. For me, so I could see how you could be upset, especially because you guys have like a whole different kind of relationship from like the ground up. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I just feel like I just I don't know. I just feel like from I feel like who cares? What happened for you? Why did you leave? Well, it, it was just it, honestly, it's just like it just. It just didn't work for me. Like, I thought it was going to be a different type of situation from what he explained to me and what he had did for you. Yeah. And when I felt like I wasn't getting that treatment, right off the bat, like, that's why in the video I saw that he had said that our situation was short-lived. It very much was so, because if I'm not getting what I want up front, I'm going to fuck. If, if I get a steak on my plate, on my plate at a restaurant and it's not cooked the way I want it, send it back. I don't want it. So I'm just like that. That's just how I am. So I know I probably did put like a little bad taste in his mouth because he was probably already irritated. That's why I was like, how many days was it? Yeah, oh, so it was like two days. Then I came up in there and was like, look, I don't like and this. And he was like, why do <laughs> So, but my thing is like, bro, if you're too busy or you have... Don't make it up. Don't, don't, yeah, like don't side people. Like, wait, like, oh, because was your whole bank, like your whole YouTube revenue set up to his account? Yes. Who child? See, I didn't make it that far. Okay. It was just like a mess. Okay. That was a big thing I saw that I was like, this don't seem right. Like, why are you, if you get the, the least amount of percentage, why are you breaking me off my big percentage and I'm like, here's the thing. Because here's the thing, T, that's how a business works. I mean, I don't know, I don't know T at all. Um, but she's, she's, she's making me mad. She's annoying me. She's not making me mad. She's annoying me because like I said, y'all know I'm very, I'm, I'm a very level headed individual. I know a lot of shit about a lot of stuff that I probably shouldn't know, but I do. Now, let me, let me break it down for you, T, since you don't know. Um, the reason why he had it set up to go to his account, he probably, he didn't, he probably didn't even open up an account. Uh, he probably didn't even like put it in, into his direct account. He opened up a separate account for Riley's money to go directly to. Riley can see her YouTube check. She can go on Google Ads and see her whole YouTube check. Daryl can take his percentage and cut her the check. That's how it works. That's how it works. That was a very smart move on Daryl's part because the simple, pack, the simple fact of his employees, Daryl can see how much they make too, but he can still sit there and argue and argue and argue with his employees because they do not want to give him the percentage that he has earned, that he's deserved. He's owed, basically. He has a contract. People are people. You can't trust people. And I'm being honest. I'm being honest. That was the smartest move Daryl could have ever made whenever he signed Riley and made a whole separate business account and had her money go directly in his name to that account. And then he cut Riley the check later on. Because I guarantee you, as soon as Riley saw that first check, she would not have paid Daryl. I promise you, people are people. Like, there's no, this girl went from, Daryl said she went from making three three thousand dollars a month to twenty three thousand dollars to almost twenty thousand next month. She's a person. She's never seen that much money at one time in her life. You think she's gonna want to cut off a check to Daryl that same day? As soon as she gets paid? No. I'm gonna go ahead and let the video finish though, but okay. And this is the only thing I'm gonna say about the situation unless you come for me. <laughs> a pimp can't be pimped. I know what pimping looks like. A pimp can't be pimped, period. You tried it. <laughs> and that's all I'm gonna say about that situation yeah. because for me, I'm a real ass bitch and I don't play and I don't play with my money, my family, or the people that I care about. Mm -hmm. That are my family, that are still my family. So really just my money and my family. You talk shit about me, but you don't play with my money. Yeah. He wanted to focus on other people. And that's fine. Mm -hmm. So it is what it is. But y'all need to leave her alone for real, <laughs> honestly, because at the end of the day she worked hard. She did all those videos. Like she said, she edited those videos. He helped Cap! I just heard cap. I almost forgot to call it earlier. Cap, 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 cap. Um, 
If now I just happened to see this video, uh, I don't know dude's name. I don't know anything. He showed proof in the video. I watched like 30 seconds of it. I skipped around a lot. Um, this dude was Riley's personal editor. But Riley edited her own videos. That's crazy, right? How does how does an editor show proof of editing your videos? But Riley, I edited my all my own videos, head ass. Um cap 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 cap. Uh I'm having the best time of my life right now. This reaction video is amazing. Why not do this sooner? What? Um Dude edited all of video edited all of videos Riley's. Daryl stated he edited some of videos uh some of Riley's videos. I know for a fact Daryl edited some of Riley's videos because I know Daryl's editing style. Why are you capping? Why are you capping for her, T? She didn't edit her own stuff. She probably I guarantee you. You see how sloppy these edits are? This is probably edited by Riley. This video right here is edited by Riley. That's it. She still owes her editor money. Still owes her editor credit. That's all I heard from that video. I saw proof. I saw he owes her money. I saw she stole something. That's it. I don't know dude's channel name. I don't know dude's name. But hey, if I heard your edit styles are fire, so you know what I'm saying? If you see this video, bruh, Drop the link in the description. Uh, hit me up on the Instagram. It's going to be in the description down below. Because, hey, we need to work, brother. But anyways, let's go ahead and get back to the video. Because all I'm going to hear is some more cap her. But at the end of the day, she's going to continue to grow. And she's going to continue to go. And if you don't want to be a part of that, you don't have to. You can go right back to the channel you came from. Because <laughs> we don't give a fuck. Well, they you. she got a whole new man. Ah, there you go. Well, at least y'all have each other. I ain't got yeah, nobody. <laughs> now, um, y'all saw my reaction. The video's over with. I have nothing else to say. I said all I needed to say during the video. Riley, this was, I'm gonna just reiterate this. I know I stated it's stupid to reiterate something. This is the dumbest thing you could have done in your life. Stupidest thing. Like, you ended your whole career over assuming Somebody was jealous. Over assuming. Over an assumption. You know what? You know what assume states? It makes an ass out of you and me. You know what I'm saying? You assumed there was jealous. And then you want to publicly state that on the internet that you denied him. He was jealous. He was mad you got a man. No. No, that's just immature. You sound you sound immature right now, but you refer to Daryl as the kid. Maybe you need to like revisit your whole like middle school and high school years and re-mature. Just re-mature. Just like grow, grow back up. Maybe it'll awaken your eyes. It'll wake you up. Like, oh shit, there goes the light. Um, anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, there's probably gonna be more videos on this because I know Riley's gonna be doing more videos on this. I'm chilling at the house, working from home. I got a lot of free time. I'm gonna be consistent. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make if you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, I wanna say what's good. It's David, and go ahead and hit the sub subscribe button. Click, click. You know what I'm saying? Click that little red button. Make it gray. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Um, Riley. I wish you all the best of luck with uh, you going from almost 300k to almost 100k in a couple of days. It's none of my business though. Uh -huh. uh, but enjoy the career that you have ended. And if you can make a comeback, hey, more power to you. So hey, if you can make a comeback, go ahead. Daryl was not sexist at all in this situation. Daryl was not jealous. Daryl did not hate on you. Daryl did the most he ever did for anybody that he signed. He proved it in his video. He did way more for you than he has done for any of those other people. And guess what? You threw it in his face because you thought he was jealous. You assumed. You made an ass out of you and yourself again. Good job, Bradley. That's all I got to say, folks. It's been great talking to y'all. It's David, and I'm out. Peace.